Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It seems like Apple has finally released iOS 18.1. Now this comes finally with Apple intelligence. After one month of release uh, of the iPhone 16 series, they have finally brought in the Apple intelligence. This will come with iOS, uh, the new OS update, iOS 18.1. Uh, I do have over here an older iPad 11 inch. This is the M1 third generation. I think I don't remember the full model description, but this seems like also getting the uh, iPad OS 18.1. Um, so let's see what we have. So this, it seems like Apple's, um, this will bring in the new set of Apple intelligence features. Uh, we will have, uh, we will look at all the features that the this release has and it seems like it there is a also the update also includes some enhancement for the camera control so we are going to look into that as well um let's see the ability to capture spatial photos okay that's nice so record phone calls and other features bug fixes and security updates for uh your iphone so we can actually click learn more and this will kind of give us all the features that are coming in so it seems like um, we are getting writing tools some updates for Siri photos uh, notification uh, changes uh, so I, I want to quickly check what are those it seems like notification summaries make it easy to catch up on your notes so I think they're gonna do is uh, we, we are gonna see a lot of instead of um, full list of notifications like a lot of notifications we're going to see a group notifications now um so what else so we do have phone update camera update uh the camera control can quickly switch to a front true depth camera uh spatial photo capture along with spatial video capture so i th i think those are updates are coming in as well uh i haven't fully tested the camera yet so i i am not sure about these but i'm gonna take a look at it later so it seems like there are some uh updates for airpods as well um, so we are going to deep dive into all of these features later, but first we are going to do um, a full installation of the, iP the new iP uh, iOS 18.1. We're also going to install the iPad OS 18.1 and we're going to go through all the features. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to update and we're going to start looking into all the features. So let's get started with the update process. It is 1.8181 gigabyte, so it's gonna take some time. So we're gonna see how much time it takes. Uh, so I'm gonna click update now. It's gonna ask for me my uh, password. Okay, so it seems like it's uh, first, I think it's gonna download maybe, not. Okay, so it, it, it is requesting the up, uh, update right now. So we're gonna wait, wait till, uh, uh, it updates so it seems like it's taking a very small amount of time seems like it's so we're only getting about one minute over here so I think this is basically gonna just download and then just install it so um, let's get back once the installation is complete okay so it seems like the uh, phone is updated to the new iOS 18.1 so we're gonna start checking uh, those uh, Apple intelligence features. Uh, it seems like while the update is complete, the phone is really, really warm, especially on on the backside or on the top portion. The, I, I can barely touch this place. Wow, this is seriously warm. Okay, so we are gonna take uh, give this one a little bit time to cool off, and then we're gonna start looking into all the features. All right, so it seemed like it's the. Apple Intelligence is currently preparing. Uh, I'm probably gonna be using it very soon right now. Um, so it took around five minutes after I uh, tapped the join waitlist. So uh, we are gonna wait a couple more minutes and once uh, we have the Apple Intelligence on our phone, we'll start using it. Okay, so it seems like Apple Intelligence is ready and it says turn on Apple Intelligence. So we are going to turn on and there you go. So we are going to be uh, using the Apple Intelligence. So what we are getting, it seems like writing and summarization, uh, the start of a new era for Siri, uh, built for privacy, time to experience the new personal intelligence system. It's been a long time ever since the personal assistant feature came into smartphone finally we are getting somewhere 
with uh, the AI features coming in, integrating with these uh, phones with uh, their uh, smart assistant. And we, hopefully one day we're probably going to have to use phone without touching anything. We're just going to talk to the phone. It's going to be our own personal device. We're going to talk to it. It's going to interact with us. I think we're uh, close to that future. So let's get started. So we're going to click continue. Um, so the first feature we are going to getting is summarize notification. I probably am going to love this feature because, you know, uh, Apple notification is a bit nightmare other than I use Samsung as well. And since I am an Android guy mostly, uh, I do also use uh, Apple products side by side for my work. So, you know, now hopefully this is going to be a little bit better, uh, close to what I have on my uh, Android device. So Apple intelligence can summarize notifications, making them more succinct to read. Uh, I probably butchered that word. Uh, choose notification to summarize. So we are going to select. Um, so choose notifications in news and entertainment, communication and social. Yes. News and entertainment. Yes. All other apps. Uh, we're going to say yes. And then we're going to select summarize all notifications. Siri. Siri is an intelligent assistant that helps you find information to get things done. Just speak or type a request using your own words now i have owned i am um, iphone 10 that was my first iphone iphone 10 and then i used iphone 11 pro max 13 pro max uh 14 pro max i skipped 15 and now i'm in 16 but i have never 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 used cd in fact i don't use smart assistant on my samsung phone as well i don't use smart assistant at all it's for me i'm just gonna i'm gonna just type and search that kind of guy so let's see if you know i'm probably gonna you know start using this a little bit more and see if it really get you know fits into my daily habit of using a phone so we're gonna just uh hit continue as well on the c so it's it seems like uh so you have to hold um the power button and it will activate it seems like there is a uh screen border edge glow that's going to come up when you're going to use it uh say Siri or hey Siri or hold the side button to talk to Siri. So we're going to hit continue. Type to Siri. So double tap at the bottom edge of the uh, screen to type your request. So let's say if you're not speaking, you just opened the intelligence feature with the Siri. So you can double tap over here and it's going to bring up the keyword and you're going to be able to type whatever uh, instructions that you want to use. So let hit continue. Uh, so it seems like it's all there. So we're going to go back to our home screen. Let's start with the CD feature. I'm going to say, okay, so we see the glow. Hey Siri, what's the weather going to be tomorrow in Manhattan uh, around noon? So it is giving me the weather. And what's the weather going to be the same place around 6 p.m.? So we're going to say allow while using the app. Seems like it's giving me a different weather. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to see if the volume up and we're going to see, we're going to, let's find something else. Hey Siri, uh, what's the recipe for making uh, sourdough bread? So it, it is giving me some uh youtube search results so it's part enough to show me a video as well so let's uh double tap does it do anything new oh maybe it is i'm gonna see if i can bring in oh there you go so double tap at the bottom so you, you can ask Siri what is the weather tomorrow and there you go so it shows up the weather as well okay so let's see what we get in the summary feature so we're gonna 
writing tool. So this kind of gives us a writing tool. So it's going to do, let's use the proofread first. So it's going to read the entire thing, hopefully. Apple contains a lot of fiber, revert. That's not what we want. So we are going to say, uh, so we're going to select everything, close this. Let's close all of these and we're going to go into writing tools. So see it is making a list as well. Let's revert. Let's say use summary. And it seems like it give you a summary at the bottom as well. Back, uh, we're going to say key points. Let's see what it does. Nutritional value and blah, blah, blah. So it, it seems like it's doing a pretty good job. Um, so it does make list and table as well. So we uh, do, let's make, let's change the writing type to professional. I don't think it's going to do much because this is not a proper uh, text, but it's, let's see. Oh yeah, it, it, it did a little bit of uh, change over here. So we're going to just go back to original. Uh, that's, that seems like a nifty feature when you're writing emails, maybe sending a message to someone or you know, if you are uh, trying to reach out to a person that you have never spoken before and then you do not know how to uh, address that person, you can just type a quick message, use a writing tool, and then you can go into different features, uh, maybe change the text so, so that you can finally send a proper text to that person. So this is a cool feature. Okay, so it does say there is some improvement on the uh, camera control as well. So I'm just going to turn on the camera control. Uh, let's see. Seems like a little bit responsive than previously before. It is a lot more responsive than the previous version. My God, what a difference. Uh, I had s like severe problem using this uh, camera control. But now it seems like a lot more uh, fluid. It, it seems it, it seems to me a lot more fluid. I don't know if they changed anything on this one. Uh, I still, you know, the I hope the software update would just make the hardware a little bit user to better. Um, so let's see. So zoom in depth. We're gonna say exposure. Zoom should have been the first one. Wow. Ew. Look at that dirt. Man, that's crazy. So. So let's go to the photo feature. Photos. Okay, so what's new? So we have a find your photos videos faster with automatic organization. Is there an Apple intelligence feature over here? I am not sure. So I'm going to hit continue. So these are some of the photos that I've taken earlier. I know that there's like a, let's see if Apple intelligence does anything. Where, come on, where is this place? place in the in the photo I mean obviously it is World, World Trade Center on top I can see that but I wish Apple intelligence would do that so that I can take a screenshot and say where is this photo maybe those features are coming later I do not know I just tried something because I haven't looked into all the features that uh, all the list of the full features let's see uh, the full feature. So we have writing tools and we have already seen that Siri seems like a, a new uh, feature with the glowing feature. Siri does conversational context and maintain over the course of sessions so you can refer more manually naturally to something you said in recent requests. Product knowledge helps you get answers to thousands of questions about all features and settings on your Apple products. Voice enhancement makes Siri sound more natural and expressive, blah, blah, blah. Okay, photo search lets you find photos and videos simply by describing what you're looking for. 
cleanup removes uh, directions in your photos okay oh cleanup removes distraction in distraction in your photos okay that's what I need right now thank you so let's see if I can bring a photo and Ooh. so what do I do what do I do so do I edit do I edit yes seems like we have a new feature at the bottom called cleanup so we're gonna say cleanup oh so it, it is downloading cleanup ah uh, well this should have been installed by default I do not know why this is a manual process right now that I have to go in and download it go home I don't need you right now okay preparing cleanup you guys probably already know what I'm gonna clean up on this image first so you know okay so we are gonna clean up this entire person over here ooh yes ooh wow okay okay yes clean this up as well clean this up as well what about this uh, I mean did a effort job anyway but it seems like it's a cool feature I already have I use that on the, my Samsung as a lot and there are a lot of photos I've taken uh, at least I think a year ago in DC and I came back and there were like a lot of people walking behind the photos I wanted to just quickly go in and edit them and just removed all of those so it seems like it's a good feature uh, it's it, it is I'm, I'm for some reason all of these features making my phone a little bit warmer um, it seems like without a case especially on this side I don't know yeah. So, okay, so it's glowing. I understand it's glowing. So, what does that glowing mean? Is it like ready to remove them or is it a removable object? I do not know whether you tap or remove them. Okay, so you tap and it basically tells you that you can remove them. Okay, so there, there you go. All the Apple features. So, I'm going to do a deep dive with all the features. I'm going to use them daily and see if I like them and maybe hopefully I'll use Siri all the time so I don't know what what to say so hopefully you guys upgrade it too and you know let me know in the comments what um, new feature that you like and what, what do you dislike about your new uh, iPad OS 18.1 with AI which is finally here okay so see you guys in next video adios